I'm Tamara Lackey, and on this episode of Redefine Show for Adorama TV, I, an American, speak with Sara Lando, an Italian, and we have this conversation in the United Arab Emirates while we're both teaching at Golf Photo Plus in Dubai. Sara shares with us her kindergarten-style conceptual mixed-media work, the client work she absolutely and adamantly turns down, and why, and she walks us through from start to finish exactly how she creates her uniquely intriguing pieces. Check it out. Adorama TV presents The Redefined Show with Tamara Lackey. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Tamara. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you. We are here in Dubai, yes. UAE, UAE, yeah. United Arab Emirates. Um, I'm from the US, you're from Italy. Yes. And we're here at Gulf Photo Plus. Yep. Both teaching. Yeah. This is our context. <laughs> it is, it is. Um, now, you're from Bassano, Italy, which yes. is near Venice? It's near Venice. It's about an hour off Venice. OK. And um, you grew up in Bassano. Yeah, born and raised. Went to Milan to study. Yeah. Went back to Bassano. Yeah. After going in advertising? Uh, no, I was working in Milan, met my now husband. Yes. He fell in love with Bassano, and we decided we would live in a place and make the job work around it. Okay. Rather than um, decide the job and then go to a place we might not like. Yeah. Okay, smart. Yeah. And then how did you find your way into the very unique type of photography you do? Well, I still do a lot of, you know, commercial stuff that pays the bill. That stuff allows me to do whatever I want. Mm -hmm. and, and how would you classify it? What's like commercial stuff that pays the bill? Uh, Lookbooks, or it might be, you know, the little advertising, advertising thing for a little company. We decide not to work for big clients. We purposely, like if a big client contacts us and offers us a lot of money, we just go, it's not the kind of stuff we do. We can't Why? recommend a photographer. Because I don't like to spend time with them. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't like the whole process of working with them. Okay. I love to work, like I know my target client. I know my dream client. It's usually small companies with people like being very passionate about what they do, mm -hmm. uh, who love to be creative, but they don't necessarily know how to. Okay. And I'm the perfect fit for them. Got it. So you already know that you would not be the best fit for working with larger companies and you don't want to. Yeah. Okay, so those are the, that's the type of work that pays the bills. Yeah. What is the work that you feel most passionate about? Uh, it's usually more, um, it's really hard to define because it's kind of about between photography and illustration, but not necessarily the way it's usually. Philustration? Ah. Philustration, yeah. <laughs> nice. Ah, TM, you can yeah. take it, it's yours. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably available online. <laughs> And it's usually stuff that's done uh, with analog processes, like mixed media work. I burn stuff, dr um, drown stuff. And you mean literally burn, not yeah, Photoshop yeah, no, burn? No, 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 with fire. Yes. I like fire. Yeah, <laughs> I like fire. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds so bad. But yeah, I like. it's basically kindergarten work. Mm -hmm. That's what I do. Yes. And that actually ended up like lending me a lot of commercial jobs. They might know me for that kind of work. And they right. come to me and it's like, oh my God, you're so creative. We love you. We absolutely want to work with you. Mm -hmm. Now go shoot a hundred photo on a black simulator. On a black, uh, black yeah, simulator. yeah, you know. And you're like, okay. I'll take the money. Like, yeah. I, I don't. I like money. Yeah. It's just. I like money too. Yeah. Yeah. It allows you to do funny stuff. Yeah, like, we're pro money. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty, like if you want to give me money. I'll She'll take, take it. it. Yeah. <laughs> so um, the kind of work you do, you've done also some pretty. Um, it seems like intricate projects. They're not. They're, they're honestly. Not? They're, they're super. That's the thing. When people. Well, the kindergarten comment. Yeah. When yeah. people see how I work, it, it literally looks like a kid at play. It's not any different than that. Okay. So give us an example of one of those projects. I might. Uh, for example, like the biggest. Thing I've done that led to other big thing is this project called Layers, where for a whole year, like once a week, I would pick a random word from the in, a word randomizer on the internet. The word randomizer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just whatever it popped out, you would work on yeah, that I, word. Yeah, I would pop three random words, pick one because sometimes you would get like um, end, okay, which is kind of hard, you know, as a yeah, yeah. And then I would pick one, and that would be my theme for the week. Okay. I set boundaries because I strongly believe that limitations are a big part of the creative process. Okay. Yeah. It, it forces you. Yeah. To the worst push. thing you can do to someone is like tell me something interesting. Crickets. Yeah. Right. But yeah. If, if we have limitations, like. Tell me what kind of movie you would watch if you're really sad and you need to cheer up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we have subject. You're thinking yes. of something. Yeah, you know? Yes. 
And so I would do that and it would be a self-portrait shot on film, which I print, which I would then print, and then I would work on using mixed media techniques. Okay. And that would be the image for the week. And using cardboard, I wanted to keep a constant palette, a color palette. Okay. And it ended up being a really great project. And how long did it go? For 52 weeks. For the entire year, okay. Me and 600 other people, because I did that publicly. On, oh, wow. Yeah, I set up a Flickr group, and it's like, this is the word of the week, and people would work on their stuff. Right. I would, And it became a thing. So, yeah, fantastic. Yeah. And that led to Magpies, which is my graphic novel, done with the same technique, you know, right. and things. And on Magpies and on and on. got me here, basically. And so your, um, your technique, as it were, in terms of managing your career, yep. was to basically do whatever you creatively yes, wanted yes, yes. and then share it, yeah. post it, put it out there. For free. For free. Yeah. And then people would come to you because they found you or saw you yeah. or, or somebody shared your work. Yeah. And For then example, they would hire you. Like Magpies, like this graphic novel I did, mm -hmm. um, it's a huge work. I, I worked on that for like nine months full time. Yeah. And I decided to put the PDF online for free, no restrictions. And people could decide to get it for free or donate it money. Okay. And some people did actually. A lot of people did. Yeah. It got read on 23 different countries. What were the? What were, just out of curiosity, what were the? Um, what was the range in donation? Uh, between like one dollar and fifty. Okay. So no, and then I, just all over the, people were just all over the place. Yeah. And yeah. some people would download it for free the first time and yeah. then download it again and donate money. Huh. Okay. All right. Yeah. And then, yeah, which is like insanely, like I'm super grateful for that. Yeah, absolutely. And then they started asking for a printed version. I turned down a couple of publishing companies because mm -hmm. they wanted to do something like really cheap mm -hmm. and I wouldn't like the quality of that. Yes. Or they wanted to do like an art book and have it for like a hundred dollars. Yeah. And a hundred dollars for a graphic novel, to me, it's like, it doesn't make any sense. Right. So I decided to crowdfund it. Okay. And I did my research, I did my little budget plan, and I knew that if I had $20,000, I could do like a really nice campaign, I could like give people something amazing. Right. And everybody told me it was impossible because back then people would basically do these 200, 2,000, 3,000 campaigns for that kind of project. Right. I ended up raising 32,000. So, That's amazing. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. You're kind of like, Yes, I did. Yeah, it's like a lot of, most of the time, like that's the story of my life. People will tell me it's not possible mm -hmm. and I will tell them, watch me do it. Yeah. yeah. I think that's like a, um, a meme. You're like an active meme. Yeah. <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you have a video clip you're going to share with us. Yes. Uh, before you do that though, tell people where they can find you online. Uh, well, I have a website. Uh, which is www.saralando.com. S-A-R-A-L-A-N-D-O. Yes, absolutely. I'm on Twitter uh, at Bruco, B-R-U-K-O. Okay. Uh, I'm on, and, and that's like, I'm really bad. Like I'm someone different everywhere. I know, I, I know. You know I'm the worst person <laughs> yeah, yeah. with this. Uh, I'm on um, Instagram ha at Hole in the Fabric. Hole in the Fabric? Yeah. How about Facebook? Uh, Facebook is Saralando. Okay, good, yeah, good. You can All right. Actually, yeah. Excellent. But usually, if you Google me, you get there. That's, okay. That's the thing. There you go. Yeah, they can the find thing. you. Yeah. So tell us about the clip we're about to see. Yeah, it's uh, it's a part it's part of what I did for layers. Like mm -hmm. I, it's how I worked on this kind of project. And then there's a little slideshow of the images, final images at the end. So it's like you see, it's super, super, super simple. Perfect. All right, check it out. for sharing all that with us, Sarah. And thank you for joining in. Check us out here next time on Adorama TV. And do not forget to subscribe to Adorama TV for some vast array of deep knowledge.